the tail help with Faye. My name is definitely Faye, as I mentioned earlier on. And we're about to have a super duper fun right here on the set. Today, guys, we're talking about something that has to do with comedy. Comedy and something else that goes in line with it. Comedy and vulgarity. Now, for those just tuning into the tail hop, it is your favorite talk show where we get to, you know, involve ourselves in advance with our guest or guest and definitely have fun on set with other segments lined up to keep you absolutely glued to your devices. So stay locked, stay tuned, call a friend or two. We'll be right back after this break. Let's know our guest is on today's episode. See you soon. man who has the legit beard that has never been dyed. It is, I mean, natural, very natural. Let's go. We are not dyed it Dyeless. Dyeless. All right, guys, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas, we have, we have with us the one, the only, um, short, short but mighty man, hey. MC Abbey was subbing me on set before we started the hey. show. Great to have you here today. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're yeah. welcome to Fire to TV. My name is MC Abbey, aka The Prof. And I'm here, go, I'm here with uh, 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 Faye. We're going to evocate your trestos venetois so that all things went bright to be beautiful. Are you with me? If you're not with me, well, I'm not with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Are we starting the show right now? One more. All right, guys. So we're talking about comedy and vulgarity. Yeah. Now, we know that, I mean, MC Abbey is one who doesn't necessarily make words when mm. it comes to comedy. You go really hard. Of course. Mean, where you're telling the jokes, Oscar. yeah? So we're going to be talking about that. You're the perfect person to talk about that today. Oh. So um, let's just go straight to the first question. Great. Should we have a certain level of vulgarity in comedy? Is it mandatory? Well, it's not mandatory uh, that we'll have um, uh, vulgarity in comedy, but um, uh, there, there are some... Uh, kind of uh, comedy that would require such and uh, the kind of crowd that would uh, audience that would want to listen to such uh, so it's um it's designed by purpose all right mm -hmm. yeah but it's not it's not it's rare uh, it's not um, common so if you have to well it's, well, it's not it's not a must for me uh, mixing it up uh, can can affect your identity, where you stand okay. and who you are. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if if you're if you are straight uh, into vulgar jokes, then um, that's where you stand. Let your crowd be. You know that, that you're involved. Yeah. Right so any crowd that wants to enjoy such will come to you. You know when you do your stuff. Uh, but if you know that you are in a crowd that don't like such or don't accept such or as a, or as a mixed crowd, is safe. To be safe, you don't need to get into that okay. uh, water. Now we know that um, vulgarity started perhaps, let's say Hollywood. We've seen the likes of Jamie Fox, Eddie Murphy. You know, yeah. they just dishes out there. Yeah. So are we to say? Is it safe to say that we comedians now learn from them, from the mentors? Yeah, yeah. It's safe to say that because I mean, those are the guys that we've always. Uh, looked up to, we, we watched them. You went particular? Yeah, well, I, yeah, I did too. I, 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 I was telling some, some folks some days ago that I know a lot of vulgar jokes, why don't just say them? Mm -hmm. So apart from humor, I mean, comedy is supposed to create wit and humor and all. What are the other ills that can be corrected through the use of comedy? A whole lot, a whole lot. Um, comedy, like I said, is a platform. You, you, could, you could use it to um, change the mindset of people towards um, towards the less privileged, mm -hmm. you know, or create an awareness. Now, before you even go on, how many comedians do we have right now that are using this platform for good, not just for you? Yeah, um, there are just a few actually using that platform to, um, you know, reach out to a, part, a particular cause. Um, I think, well, because the, the industry is evolving, right? Um, it's just of recent that the comedy industry is receiving such um, reception yeah. from 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 the people, both social and corporate. So it's evolving. I, I know many years ago when I did them, I I laugh for life, uh, laugh for life charity show. Many years ago. Yeah, funny enough, my very first show. Oh, okay. Yes, I, and I did it for the four. 
for wheelchair. Uh, sorry for um for what? For yeah, those that have bad legs, right? yeah. they are crippled. Yeah. So uh, and I know that the the wheelchair um there's this body called the Wheelchair Association of Nigeria. Okay. Um, they were present. Um, then um, different different bodies that have to do with bro broken legs and all that. They were all there. We had to we. we we raised funds, we bought wheelchairs, we bought free stuff, went to uh, them, presented to them. They were happy. And I was excited. Funny enough, I really was one of those that supported us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I was so excited because somehow I saw my love doing. And I've done a lot using the platform uh, to reach out to different um, um, uh, charitable cause. You know, some for motherless homes, uh, some for, you know, probably focusing on. On uh, a particular ailment like cancer, yeah. you know, um, HIV. These are things that I enjoy. In fact, there's one coming up. I think this month or next month. Uh, next month, yeah. For it's like a runway beauty pageant thing for for physically challenged people. The beauty pageant that we want to do, you know. And the, the guy just he just reached out to me and said, "Bro, I, I will need you to." Um, can you help come do this for us? I said, no problem, it's okay, then let's, let's go. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was shocked, I didn't know that one of the people sponsoring them actually is coming from the States. Oh. And they, they have their, the government of, in, in America recognizes them. And I got a call one day from America, like, ah, God, we heard what you said, what you did, and what you, you know what you're going to do. We're so glad when we heard that you're, you're supporting us. I like, oh, I do this every time, it's normal. You know, and um, I, I, because of that, I now have another online deal with them in in Las Vegas. That is going to fetch money. It's still no. No, I mean on a live panel. It's not really only going to fetch me money. Fetch us money. That will be us. Okay, I'll tell them to put some money in the mortgage. You know. But you're just still going to do it um, on that platform, you know, and it's it's good when you use what you have to reach out to lives. No, but, but I mean comedians, comedians right now. I, would we say it's all about having shows and having, I mean, having sold out shows and getting money from it rather than, you know, giving back to the society? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about the society that actually gives you money, I mean, when you have the show. Yeah, Is yeah. Is that the orientation right now? But for now, um, I don't I don't blame comedians that we want to just. Um, Is there any sort of support from the government? We, we don't. That's, that's what I say. I don't blame them because it, it, it's your own sweat. It's your own. If you choose to want to do charity, God bless you. If you choose to want to. You want to do your thing and you know, so, so do a sellout show. Fine, but, you know. So, so the, the government doesn't support. So they do it for uh, for I mean for themselves. You know, just to make ends meet because that's their hustle. You get that. This is our hustle. So I'm uh, saying, guys, yeah, our hustle. So, yeah, because you're part of it. Right? Uh, yeah. That's so the thing, you're already making third billion. Yeah, you know. But but the truth of the matter is, sometimes when you see shows sold out. They are not really sold shake out. Shake table, shake table, shake table. Shake tables right shake now. Shake the they table. gotta shake the table. They are not really sold out, but because we, we just want to make you know that good for camera mm -hmm. uh, and also good for the image, we, we, we give a whole lot of free tickets, mm. a whole lot of free tickets, so that people would just sit down and have a full house. You understand? But, but it's sad. It's sad because that's not that's not how it's supposed to be. But we have a society that is not uh, really uh, responsive uh, fully to what we bring to the table. So we have to make it work somehow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it costs you so much. But if, if, if they tell you how much they budget for a show, it will shock you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so much. We, we, and to get sponsors now is like, it's like dreaming, dreaming, daydreaming. I mean, you can't. You go to corporate body say they say no. We're, sorry, we are, we have our, our pocket is tight. Or maybe but, the corporate bodies are looking at the big names in the industry. Probably even the big names in the industry now they are crying that they don't have sponsors. Mm. You know, so so things are changing. So you have to now go and source yourself. Maybe meet people that you know and help them. You know, that's why some of these guys will now go and find anybody that is Yahoo. Okay, Yahoo can come and help them. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. Because they, they, they need to do this thing, but it's so sad. That's why the fact I know that they have to, there has to be a, a regulation on how shows are happening back to back because, I mean, it's the same crowd, like I said, the same crowd, the same people, 
strip my just wear out. We need to do something different. Okay, so I mean, last question. In your words, I mean, in 30 seconds or so, we're talking about comedian vulgarity. Is that going to be a trend? Um, or is this something that, you know, um, going to end at some point? I, 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 well, I, I don't think it will end. I don't think it will end. It's just different strokes for different folks. Yeah. Uh, if you're but if you're doing your show and it's family friendly, please don't be vulgar. I beg people that come on my shows that it's family friendly. I beg them, those that are not that vulgar, I beg them, please. Why? Don't, I won't call their name. Why? I won't call their name. <laughs> please don't say anything out of family matters. Okay. You know, and they'll they'll, they'll say they'll try. I remember one threatening me in London. I just claimed they say, I am Shabby. I know I promised you I was not going to, but let me just mention you see this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just say one thing. I I, I, I melt down. Please, <laughs> don't. You know, I'm not going to go there. There are kids there too. You know, so um, it will be, but it's just that different crowd, right? If uh, once you are doing your stuff and you see 18 plus, you know that you're going to hear all kinds awesome. of things. You know, but that's why I'm trying to redefine 18 plus. No, no, when you say 18 plus, every time you think it's just vulgar. Mine is not vulgar. It's uncensored. But saying it as it is. All right, guys. So we'll definitely go on another break. Um, yes, we have fun segments coming up. I do think I promise you what we're about mm-hmm. to get. Yeah, I think it will be right here on set. So, guys, keep it locked. It's Global Tail Mouth with Faye, and we'll have MC Mandy right here with us. Keep it locked, you guys. I don't know why, 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 I mean, the very day alphabets got in, into numbers, you know, in mathematics, that's why I took off. Don't bring your brain. I don't know what X is doing there. Why, why so let's go. In three, two, one, and action. Eight was eight. Uh, 16. 16 plus 16. 32. 32 plus eight. Uh, that's uh, 40. Um, 40 plus two. Forty-two, forty-two plus twelve. I, I, I give you small number. I give you a big number. Forty-two plus what? Twelve. Uh, that is uh, fifty-four. You, you took time to answer. No, What's I, your brain? Why do you say? Yeah, I, I, was, I want to be clear. Fifty-four plus okay. I am. I am asking you. Fifty-four plus fifty-four. One hundred and eight. Ah, when did that? One hundred and eight plus um eighteen. Ah, that is a uh, hundred and. Uh, uh, you made it was eight percent. <laughs> so I can't speak. It's one hundred and one hundred. Let me do it. 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 Let 14. 14 plus 14. Why are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> 14 plus 14 is 28. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 28 plus 2. 30. Why must you do two uh, similar numbers? You can numbers? do anything. Wait, 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 wait. I'm giving you something soft. Something 30 like. plus 50. Eh? 80. <laughs> okay. uh, 80 plus 20. 100. Simple, simple. 100 plus 15. Eh? 100 plus 50. Which one is 80? It's 150. 50. Okay. Uh, okay. It's okay. 100 plus 15. 100 oh, I thought it was 15. No. So 100 plus 15 is 115. <laughs> you got it wrong. No, I thought you said 100 plus 50. So oh, 50 and 15. 15. From your mouth, they both sound alike. Hey, no, you don't know how to do No, English. no. You're not speaking. You're not projecting. <laughs> you're not. You're not very. Um, uh, 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 you're not clear. Audible enough. Exactly. 15 and 15. Exactly. Sound, look. Say 15. You can't like, you can't like say 15. Say 15. Say 15. Say 15. Say 15. No, I didn't. Think. So round three. Uh, okay. Right. Find out. Are you crying? I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> round three. Two times four. And two times four is eight. And two times four is eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, two times eight. Eight now. Uh, eight times. There are people who start. Uh, you said two times. Four, I, two times four. Four, eight. I said, yeah, and I said yeah, two, two times eight. 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 Eight times two is not two times eight. 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 Is it not the same? It's not the same. The eight times two. You are, you are busy calculating, right? No, I calculate 60. Okay, 8 Come times on. 5. 40. Uh, 
and they do great times to now from this point. I should not do that. Why can't you okay? Yeah, so Forty times three. What 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 are you doing? <laughs> Forty times three is is actually more than twenty. I know you are trying to do No, it's more than three. Forty times three. Oh, yeah, you go. It's four and twenty. Okay. So I won, right? Yeah. No, it, but you well, I, I said one and three. Now. Okay, I should tell you now. Uh, okay, uh, one and twenty times one million. One hundred and twenty million. Eh? One hundred and twenty million. That was a mistake. <laughs> it's only one and twenty times one and fifty-four million. You just have to calculate. You decide that. I'm giving you that one. <laughs> Divided by 120 million. Hmm. Uh, divided by. Oh, I'm so This one's a Gun. And 120 million divided by 120,000. Don't ask politicians. <laughs> they will give you the answer. Don't have time to break my own mind. You know, you know, it's 120 million. What? 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 Whatever I did, y'all, you can one and twenty million divided by you know what? Divided by what? What do you do? One and twenty thousand. Oh, one and twenty million divided by one and twenty thousand. That is a hundred. One thousand. That's one thousand. One thousand. It cannot be one thousand. It cannot be one thousand. It's a hundred thousand. Is it? Oh, oh, what? What is it? It's a hundred thousand. Are we right? It's one thousand. Okay. Can it be 1,000? 120 million. divided by 120,000 is 1,000. He actually got that right. So why are we not confused? I think he told you. Who told me? Ah, the invisible the camera. camera. <laughs> My viewers have told me, do you tell me anything? <laughs> no. Did I tell you anything? No. Ah, who are we? All right, so we come to the end of this video, guys. God, I um, and at the end of the day, who won? We won. Who? Who won? Wakanda. First round, who won? Wakanda, we they won. won. Wakanda won. Second round, who won? We won. I won, man. It was this the election. Third round, who It was won? rigged. This you election. won. This is the problem we have in this country. Who? All this political <laughs> people, they will be reading the election in their very before, and they tell you to, to swallow it. Who? The 2019, we know agree. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. boys and girls, yeah. I hereby declare myself the winner of the segment. That's what How well do you do your They both declare themselves as the winner. MPRV. Well, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Shove it up your... My, my, my bum bum. Shove it <laughs> Uh, yeah, we are now we are, we are the winners of this uh, segment. We just uh, had to let you know that we're sharing. Go on, buddy. Yeah, we're sharing this this um, winning. Um, Take us on a break. I'm taking you on a break. We're all going to Mamapu right now <laughs> on a break. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go have lunch somewhere <laughs> on a break. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> This very episode of Tale Mob, I'd like to say very big thank you to MPRD for gracing us that today. You have been very intellectual, you have, you have, you know, you have, you have pumped a lot of love into the comedy industry, yeah. and we know that very soon it will blossom. Yeah. 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 And the government should actually support these guys. Yeah. We are putting in their sweat, money, resources, and what are they into this beautiful comedy show? So please, government, support this. Support the public. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Try. Should I? Should I? Should I, should I, should I should all right guys so tip right now we have to kick ourselves off the set but remember that yeah. you can obviously stay tuned till another very interesting episode bringing you very good guests that you definitely love to see all the time i know i'm not talking like a typewriter or something like that so guys we'll come your way again remember to leave love and be happy always you only leave one to make the best of your life on today's eternity follow us up on the handles Scrolling right now on your screen, and you can also follow me up on Instagram at Faith underscore the lesson. And mine is, I was going to ask you, uh, uh, is MC Abbey the prof? Or I laugh with MC Abbey oh, on Instagram. I mean, Instagram, like the, the on Twitter, on Twitter, yes, yes, MC Abbey one, like for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Wakanda forever. Yeah, Wakanda. Wakanda. Wakanda boy are you? Wakanda boy. Wakanda. All right, guys. Yeah. We see you we'll sometime. See you. Yeah. Again. Salt and pepper. Yeah. That's what we call this. Yeah. It's called salt and pepper. Should I touch it? Yes. Oh, yes. I feel it. Oh, I feel it. Mm. Please, guys. Come on, guys. Go!